boy, the beard's looking wonky. I'm Johnny Scovel, and this is Chase the Heat. I got a spectacular pod to review today, and I'm really excited about it. Bill Corbett uh, is a friend of mine. is a great grower, and he grew a really beautiful pod that was created by Troy Primo. Big Mustard, the Big Mama series. You got the BBM, the Big Red Mama, the Big Yellow Mama. Here is the Big Peach Mama. Just an enormous pod. Beautiful, bumpy, looks amazing. And I'm really excited to be eating this. Um, I'm going to be going, we will have a live stream tonight. There's something I need to tell everybody. Kind of an important thing. So, join me tonight for a late night live stream. That is going to happen tonight. Um, I'm going to cut this thing open. I'm going to take a picture of this. This is a pretty spectacular pod, so I'm definitely taking a picture of this for Instagram. So... And there's a bunch of cool pictures, a bunch of cool, there's like 1,500 cool pictures on Instagram. If you wanted, if you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, please do that. It's the underscore Johnny Scoville. Wow. Okay, so this is a very, very oily pepper, which is good. It's what you want. Gotta take a couple pictures, like I said, for the gram. All right, I'm done with the pictures. Now I'm going to show you guys the interior of this pod. It is very, very oily. Ready? Here we go. Do you see the oil clinging to the sides of the of the wall lining? Good sized placenta. Gnarly looking pepper, huh? Now, if you look, let's see if you can look in particular. See if I can get the camera to pick this up. Right in here, the dark streaks. I don't know if you can see it. The camera's not sure if it's going to pick it up. Very, very oily pepper. It smells fruity. It really has a great aroma. You know what I wonder sometimes? Like if I'd smell this 15 years ago, would I say, gosh, that smells great? I don't know. I know this. There's been a really, really a, a huge transformation in how I see peppers now. I've always been a chili head. And I loved peppers when I started the channel, but um, since then, pods that, the flavors that I used to dislike, I look forward to now. I mean, I really, really love peppers, you know? Whew, they're such a good thing. Anyway, here is the Peach Mama, grown by Bill Corbett. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is Chase the Heat. All right, I'm sitting here chewing this pepper and I'm thinking what I'm doing in my head, I really just had a thing going on there. It's really a hot pepper. And I immediately started thinking about the peach uh, primo that I had that Bill also grew. I ate it a couple days ago, a day ago. I think it was yesterday. Anyway, that was the hottest peach pot I had ever had. This is right there with it. The flavor's great, it was fruity, there was no uh, 
really was no floral. It was, and there was really no bitterness. It was just fruity and super hot. Finish is great. Now this is more, this is migratory, this is moving, this burn is moving. It was in the middle of my tongue. I was about to say, this is more of a mouth burn and the peach, uh, the peach primo uh, that I ate was more of a throat burn. But as I'm saying that, the burn is moving to the back of my throat. I'm always fascinated by um, the, just the way peppers burn. A lot of comments lately about that. Like, why does it burn in a certain area over others? I don't know. I don't have the answers. I wish I did. And how it makes more sense that a mig migratory burn would be moving backwards because you have saliva in your mouth, and if you swallow it, you can see why the burn would migrate back. What I find really bizarre is when you get, I've had it happen two, time, two, two or three times, and this season only, that I can remember. It's been a lot of pints, so if I forget, I'm sorry. But a migratory burn that starts in the back and moves forward, that just doesn't make sense to me. It makes sense that a burn would move to the back, but it doesn't make sense that one would move forward. Um, bur the burn in this is on my tongue and my throat, the back of my tongue and my throat. The, the heat on it, it had, you know what? It, it didn't have a ghost pepper type burn as far as how it climbed. It was quicker than that. It wasn't like a seven pot primo, which is super quick. It was more of a kind of a go between between the, the a primo and a, uh, a ghost as far as how it climbed. A non chili head would not enjoy that, would not taste good to you. Just wouldn't. Um, if you want to taste more, increase your tolerance. That's all there is to it. I mean, if you, like I'm tasting amazing things in these peppers, um, if you if your tolerance isn't high, all you have is pain, and your brain can't process two things at one time. You know, your brain can't say, "Ah, I already died in our mouth." But let's kind of shelf that for a minute while we talk. Think about how good that pepper tastes. You know, that's not something that you can do. So the higher your tolerance, the bigger a window you have. Like this, when your tolerance is really low, you, your window of opportunity to taste that pepper is so quick. It's like instantaneously. It's immediately pain. And that's it. You've lost the ability to, to detect flavor. Flavor is still happening. You just can't detect it. So the, high, the, the shorter your top, the lower your tolerance, the shorter that window is. And it's like this. This is like the window. And your tolerance, as your tolerance builds, the window gets a lot bigger and bigger and wide open. And I don't know. Even when I do like a 10 pod, 15 pod challenge, even when I do a belt match, I'm tasting those pods at the very end. I never, very rarely, the last time I lost the flavor, was on some tincture that Tom Broom made, where I just lost the ability to taste. And that's such a rare thing for me. But if you want to increase your, what you can taste, increase your tolerance. Okay, the burn in my tongue is gone. Now it's kind of just sizzling out a little bit in my throat, but it's certainly on the way down. A chili head would find this to be a seven to a 10. Super hot pepper. It's absolutely a super hot, no two ways about it. And it's just as hot I'm telling you, it's just as hot as the peach primo that Bill also grew that I ate recently. Crazy hot peppers, man. Super delightful. Troy Primo, you're a beast, and so are you, Bill Corbett. So listen, in the description box, you're going to see a link uh, for Bill Corbett. Um, check him out. He's got pods. He's a great grower. Super good guy. Right there is the pepper to get on this bus. Click it. You're riding with me. Click it. You take ownership of this thing. I'm just the driver. So if you don't want to miss a video, click notifications. Really, to make sure you don't miss anything, just visit us a lot because they forget notifications a lot like they did yesterday. It's amazing. Anyway, right there is the light bulb. It's my brother Tommy's channel about having a victorious, happy life after stumbling with a substance. It can be done, so please check it out. Right there, there are more videos. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.